In this video, we are going to look at the basics of Bib LaTeX. For years, LaTeX users have been writing bibliographies using BibTeX along with multiple additional packages such as NatBib. However, now there's a new option, the Bib LaTeX package. It's designed to give you many more options to easily configure your bibliographies and citations. Conveniently, existing .bib files are unlikely to need much altering to work with Bib LaTeX. To get started with Bib LaTeX, we need to load up the Bib LaTeX package using the use package command. Also in the preamble, we need to specify which Bib files we want to use by calling the add Bib resource command and entering the file name in the curly brackets, including the .bib extension. Then to cite sources in the text, we use a bib latex cite command. For this video, we'll use the paren cite command, but information on all of the citation commands can be found in the documentation. The paren cite command prints citations in parentheses, except when using the alphabetic or numeric styles when it uses square brackets. We'll discuss styles a little later on. The citation commands in BibLaTeX give you the option of adding a prenote and a postnote in as arguments. A prenote is a word or phrase like C that is inserted at the start of the citation. A postnote is text you want inserted at the end of the citation. To add these notes in, you use two sets of square brackets in the citation command. If you only open one set of square brackets, it will assume the contents of the brackets is a postnote. So if you only want a prenote, make sure you still open the second set of square brackets and then just leave it empty. Then in the body of the document, we use the print bibliography command. To change the style of the bibliography and citations, we pass more arguments into the use package command in square brackets. For example, this specifies the alphabetic style. And this is the author year style. Another thing we can change here is the way the bibliography is ordered. For example, this sorts entries by name, year, title. While this example doesn't sort them at all, but displays them in the order they are cited. More information about the numerous styles and sorting options can be found in the documentation. One of the nice things about Bib LaTeX is that you can subdivide bibliographies according to source type. To do this, we replace the print bibliography command with the following code. In this example, we are subdividing the bibliography into two sections, one for sources that are books and one for sources that aren't. But you could do it for any source type by simply changing the word after type equals. Another way we can subdivide bibliographies is using a keyword filter. To do this, you need to add a keywords field into the entries in your bib file. Now we can just alter the code in the tech file by replacing the type equals structure to keyword equals. We will also change the titles. So there you have it, a brief introduction to Bib LaTeX. We'd love to hear about your experiences using Bib LaTeX and your opinions of it, so feel free to comment below. For more information on Bib LaTeX, see the documentation or have a look at the Share LaTeX blog. Links for both of these can be found in the description. We're planning on adding more videos over the coming weeks, so be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date.